I was kicked out. It was like a week before my birthday. Then I went to live far away from everyone. It sucked because, because like, you know, my parents, we're all, we're Mexican, you know, we don't, you don't do that. And it was hard because I love my sisters and I felt like they needed me and I felt like I let them down. So LGBTQ Affairs is a student run, like, uh, club okay there we go it's a club that's student run and it's just a safe space for anyone who needs to come in but we're also within our center there's also pride alliance which is run through asua so like we run programs through pride alliance and then lgbtq affairs is where the like networking and the like safe haven part come into it where people like get to know each other and like have a community i did my undergraduate at u of a and i've I'm not sure that I could pinpoint a particular date when I found out about LGBTQ affairs, but I connected up with um, LGBTQ affairs probably around August of 2008. So I've been coming out for next summer will be 20 years. <laughs> and um, it's really a continual process. What's important about having a haven for me is having a, um, a place where I can go and not be under scrutiny uh, all the time. I mean, it, it, it gets a little bit exhausting. Um, so if having a safe haven for me means that I can go somewhere and just feel comfortable being myself and safe from harm and um, and that's very important. It's important just for the sake of being able to take a breath and and um, not have to worry as much about my surroundings. I believe we all need that getaway because if we're trapped inside a home where you can't be yourself, you're living in your own self like hell, like you can't really do anything. Oh, aside from that is that if you have somewhere to go where it's safe, you're not out there doing, you know, bad stuff. You're actually, you know, in a safe place where not a lot of bad things are going around you. So you're, you, you tend to succeed more. And I wish I would have listened to my friends because I feel like things that I've done could have been avoided from me. I, I should have just went to that place where they were telling me to go to and I didn't. And it would have, I would have avoided a lot of bad things that I did in the past. I think it's super important for people to know because I've met a lot of people who weren't able to be out or comfortable with themselves until they were able to get not only out of high school and into college, but also into our space specifically. And like, especially because U of A is like probably one of the top colleges that like advocate for LGBTQ students. So it's really important for the center to like be talked about and for people to know it's here because it's made for those kids who like need help and need protection and need to find community so i think it's 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 a really nice space too i would say that the best feeling is to be yourself and with the one you love because it's hard to be trapped in your own world and like especially like if you're in love with someone and not being able to express it out that's like drowning in your own glass of water and just who cares? I mean, it's your own life, your own heart. We only got one life to live. So just love who you want to love and marry who you want to marry. I agree. <laughs>